Survivors, if you're tracking the development progress, you might have seen the Fun Pimps dropped another version into Experimental, this time BA 2.3. Let's take a quick look at what it contains. I'm gonna call it the Loot Bag Update because why not? The main item of real interest beyond the tweaks and fixes is that they now have set the zombie loot bags and container bags to last for one real life hour before they despawn. This is up from the previous 20 minutes, which was always a huge annoyance to a lot of us. You would fight through a nice big Blood Moon Horde for instance, getting plenty of loot bag drops, but either you risk running to loot during the horde or you risk the loot bags actually despawning before you get to them in the morning. I can't tell you how many times I have had to rush out mid horde to loot just to ensure those blue or red bags would not despawn before I could actually get to them. Or at 4am I would run out to loot even while there's stragglers and leftover zombies around trying to kill me. The timing itself is actually quite a small tweak in the XML, but I think maybe under the hood they have been doing something to improve the performance because the 20 minutes was really performance related because it hits the performance of the game. So maybe they've done some under the hood optimization to minimize the impact. Now Agility Mastery Level 3 Bleeding Hearts will now include bows and crossbows. This might be nice, however, bleeding on higher levels, and I think that when you get Mastery 3, it's pretty high, it's not that impressive. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but I doubt anyone will really notice. Beyond that, Honey Challenge Fix, more Armored Up magazines, they have upped the zombie spawn quantity to 999 for the final stage, which should mean that regardless of game stage, zombies should not be running out during the Blood Moon Horde, meaning that they will always be zombies attacking you. That's something that could happen otherwise. You fight through and kill so many that it gets eerily quiet as there are no more spawns available in that spawn quantity in the XML. So. There would be no fun until 4am because you're no more zombies and I believe that's been fixed now and I like that. A bunch of things have been added, a launcher cleanup, a self-contained parameter for advanced users and so on. As a normal player you probably would not notice. Changes also go into the console crossplay such as adding a startup error when you try to run a crossplay server but have non-crossplay compatible settings. This should help those who are stumped by why a console player is not able to connect your server. Previously. It would still allow you to start it without any issues, but now it should throw an error. For instance, you might have set it to allowing 20 players, but you can only have max 8, otherwise it will not allow you to have it as a crossplay. There are of course fixes as always to PUI, some errors will play our data files, loading was fixed, or black screens when crouching, entering biomes and accepting quests. Neither of which might be common, but it sounds bad and I'm glad they fixed it. Overall, a small update and it doesn't look like it's really as substantial as 2.2 was for sure. Have a great one.